<laughs> Hello, my name is Ariana Akbari and um, this is Environment Diaries and I'm here today at Donna's Farm with Brent and I don't know how to correctly pronounce your last Hieron name. Brent. Hieronymus. Hieronymus, great. I'm here with Brent Hieronymus whose last name I now know how to pronounce. Um, and he's going to tell us about the importance of buying from local farmers um, as well as maybe a few opinions on the agriculture industry in general. Yeah, so uh, buying local, you keep the money in your, in your local economy, but you're also supporting a small business, which is a big deal. And then you're buying seasonally, so it teaches people the seasons. The grocery stores have really taken and made things where everything's in season. You know, in the middle of wintertime, you can get okra, you can get tomatoes, you can get hot summer weather stuff. But it's, but it's coming out of Chile, see so the environmental factory, mm. factory in there of, of transporting. And a lot of produce transported over a thousand miles from its original location so Whoa. uh you know seasonality around here is just is a big deal to us and that's mm -hmm. what we grow seasonal produce and do you think you could take us on a little tour yeah we can oh, check out the greenhouses yeah talk? sure okay so well, this is one of our main tomato houses we grow there's uh 500 plants in here we grow just like the commercial growers do but we grow uh oh we're going in here, we're going in here. <laughs> okay, sorry i'm lost. And we're going in uh we grow, we grow in the soil okay we're gonna um have a full... yeah so and maybe you can walk this way. Okay. Walk this so way. yeah, so we grow just like commercial guys do. Um, you can see we do a lower and lean. They get run up a string here like this and lowered down. And what does that do? It allows us to run a single leaf. So these are all indeterminate tomatoes, mm -hmm. and they get clipped up. So they get, we have we have a maintenance schedule on them. So uh, it what suffers. does indeterminate mean? So it keeps putting on. So oh, it keeps growing. Yeah. Basically. So there's two types of tomatoes. There's determinate and there's indeterminate. Okay. Determinate puts on pretty much all the same time. They stay short three or four two or three ah, feet tall okay. and then these are indeterminate so they keep if they were to keep going they would just they'll keep going, they'll just the, keep and, growing, yeah. yeah and uh but they put on branches so we take and cut the suckers off ah, and we train yeah. them to grow up a, up the leader with clips mm -hmm. and here. for how long will they grow uh records have shown they've pushed one over 100 feet in like perfect ideal conditions wow. and for like um how long time wise time wise in our in our environment will tomatoes will quit um uh, about July, 4th of July, she starts okay, getting too hot. July. And then okay. above about 75 degrees at night, the pollen doesn't set on the you tomatoes. Really pretty tomatoes. So, and then always um, in our climate, disease always starts setting in. Like this is gonna be blight. Oh no. It right. happens all, it's just something that happens regardless mm -hmm. in our area. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. And these tomatoes are uh, a hybrid developed for greenhouse production to help, help fight ah, the diseases naturally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So seed breeders have taken and um, made it to where those, those are more, less susceptible to those diseases mm -hmm. they cost a little more per seed like those are mm. the beans are like 60 cents a seed okay which seems expensive but i can get 25 pounds off, off good, of the, yeah, yeah good quality tomatoes off of there and we can go over here and yeah, look at the flower house that'd be too. great um and flowers are kind of a new endeavor for you yeah as well, yeah right? so it's just something uh another enterprise to offer mm -hmm. for people is uh cut, fresh cut flowers locally and the customers have really seen the difference on how long they last. Really? Um, they last longer. A lot longer than what you get in a grocery store. Mm -hmm. Like we have some, like we cut the day, they'll last, you know. Depending on the seasonality of the flowers, mm -hmm. but this house was full of snapdragons and different mm -hmm. things that we got. Wow. Sunflowers, we got some zinnias coming in. Mm -hmm. Um, and more with, flowers, with yeah. the sunflowers, do you do anything? Do they actually, they make the seeds? Do they? No, these, um, the, these are a pollenless variety. Mm -hmm. And they, so we'll cut them at like this stage right here. Oh. And that'll keep opening. Oh. Okay. It'll open from there like that, mm -hmm. yeah. So, just a way to grow per nice, nice flowers without you know, yeah. you have local local raised flowers. Pretty. So. Um, and do you have any any other messages? Um, I don't know for people interested in maybe um, in buying and yes. living more sustainably. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Donna's Farm, we have a farm. Mm -hmm. We still we have three. We have two places you can buy from us. Our farm stand is open. We're in Finette, Thursdays and Fridays, two to seven. And Saturday one to four, and we also sell at the Beaumont Farmers Market every Saturday eight to eleven. And there's a lot of other local farmers there as well. And it's only the only people that sell at the Beaumont Farmers Market are local farmers. There's no reselling, anything like that. And it's all seasonal, so you're getting the summertime. So you've got, uh, you know, your hot weather, your, your squashes, your okras, tomatoes are here. Still? Blueberries still. Blueberries for a little while. Uh, maybe some next week. That's gonna be about. It's getting get too hot for the fruits oh, no. like that. Watermelon. Watermelon will be coming in about Fourth of July. Love that. Uh, different melons like that. Um, figs in the middle of summertime, so just it's seasonal. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, come by and see us. We'll, we'll tell you what's in season, what's coming in fresh. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, You're Brent. Welcome. And um, you guys come out to the farm. It's great. You can meet Buddy and Cammy. And Cammy, our um, two big dogs, who are the giant dogs here, and they're very, very nice. Um, or to the Beaumont Farmers Market, which is also great. That's right. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>